Hello, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for this week's Monday Must Have. So this is a little bit different type of video. I don't have one product. I've probably got about 30 different products because today I'm going to be sharing the best back to school makeup with you. And it all happens to be under $10. I totally did that by accident. These are just pot products that I really love and I'm wearing a full face of them. So I created this look using these products. So if you'd like to see more and what my picks are, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a video every single day of the week. Plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please make sure that you hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel so that way you are notified every time I upload every single day of the week. So, like I said, most most of the time my Monday must have, it's on one or two products, okay? I have a whole bunch to share with you today. So I'm gonna be starting with complexion first. So um, my top pick for back to school primer would be the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This stuff is awesome. You need a very small amount. So um, I'm usually, I don't like primers a ton, but this is awesome. I do see why this is such a hit. Um, it's just a great product. I've been noticing on elf.com it is easier to find this now. It's not always sold out. So it's eight bucks on elf.com. With elf, you spend $25, you get free shipping and a free gift. So that is really nice. But yeah, elf putty primer, I like I said, I used it today and it does really smooth in and fill in those pores. You will get it run into issues if you use too much. You really don't need to use much. I don't want to waste it. I just want to show you. So you run your finger across it, okay? You need about that much for your pore areas. Mine would be like my T-zone, my forehead, and my chin. That's all you need. You don't need more than that, okay? So don't go in too heavy, and I think this would work for a dream for the majority of skin types. Even if I have dry flakiness from like zits or something, it works great. So there we go. My top pick for back to school foundation. Sorry, I just came and plopped all the makeup in here. It's not organized, so... There you go. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. I've loved this foundation for so long. It does have different packaging now, I believe. I believe it's like a dark purpley blue tube, but this stuff is awesome. It's a very whipped formula with great coverage. Um, so this is in the shade 100 Ivory. Um, and yeah, it's less than $5 at Walmart. So really, really good, but there we go. It's a very whipped, thicker foundation, but you don't need much, but it just spreads out so nicely. And once again, even with my dry flaky bits, it just blends out beautifully, but it has a great coverage. It's not super, super matte. I would call this more of a satin matte. Um, I do think it looks really natural on the skin. Once again, just don't use as much to start with, and you can definitely build, but love this foundation. It's gorgeous. It blends beautifully, and it lasts all day long. So, concealer. Um, I'm going, my pick is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. The shade range is not awesome, okay? I had to buy three separate shades because I'm, I'm pretty pale. I mean, I do have some color from the sun because it is the end of summer, um, but you need to be careful when, especially if you're trying to pick this out online. So this is the shade Light Peach. Um, I've been concealing underneath foundation, so this is the third darkest shade that I got, and it's still very, very light. So just be aware, go darker than you think you'll actually need with the 16 hour, but once again, very, very, very small amount, is that's all you need. It can get creasy and cakey if you use too much, but this stuff, oh my goodness, it has amazing coverage, okay? Just a really, really nice concealer. It does last all day long. I do have combination skin. I'm also 34, so I have more mature skin, I guess you could say. So I do make sure I always moisturize, and I really love that putty primer. I'll even do the putty primer underneath the eyes, but great concealer. It does dry quickly, so blend it out quickly. So, But it's great. It's awesome. Love it. Okay, face powder, oldie but a goodie. None of these products are going to be new to you or to me. These are tried and true awesome products. The... um. Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. It is strongly scented, so if you don't like scent, stay away from this, but it does set the makeup beautifully. That's all it does is it sets it. It doesn't make you super matte. It doesn't make you dewy or luminous. It sets your makeup. That's it. It's a very, very basic powder, but it's awesome. So it does kind of help to blur pores, but it's not, it's not mattifying. You do get a huge, this is 2.3 ounces, okay, and it's around six bucks. Um, a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but I do purchase mine at 
on Amazon. It's easier for me to find, but yeah, love this stuff. It is amazing. So I really do love this stuff. It's great. And it does set the makeup beautifully. So I really, really love it. Love it. Okay, so contour, highlighter, if you just want an all-in-one palette, I got you covered. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Highlight and Contour number one. Okay, this does come in another um, shade number two, and it's for deeper skin tones, but this one comes with um, three highlighter contour shades, so you get a matte cream shade, a matte cooler like sculpting shade, and then a bronzer shade. I'm wearing the bronzer and contour right now, and then I mix, I used a mix of this highlight and this highlight. So it comes with three powdered highlight and three contour and um, products. Really, really great. Five bucks. Five bucks. Okay, super affordable. Pigmentation is beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you can see that highlighty glow. Doesn't emphasize texture. There is a little bit of shimmer in it, but I did build it up because I like a little bit more of a bomb. Um, highlight, but I do love this. It's beautiful, and I believe that they are. I thought Profusion was cruelty free. Let me pull up the sticker on the back. I was pretty sure it was cruelty free. Let me. Sorry, I got the sticker on the back of it, so maybe it's not. I don't know. I could have just totally, totally made that up in my mind. I, I go through so much makeup and review so much makeup and try so much makeup that. Okay, I'm not seeing where it's saying that it's cruelty free, so I'm, I do apologize. I misspoke, I think. Oh, nope, not test on animals. I was right. Look at that. So, yeah, really, really love this. It's awesome. Okay, we're getting as cheap as cheap can get. Um, I also try to do products that are really easy to get for most people, so. Okay, so my pick for blushes are the Color Mates blushes. I get these at my local Dollar Tree. They are amazing. You get a huge pan. So this is in um, a sun-kissed tan. And it has a little bit of shimmer in it. So, so pretty. So beautiful, okay? Very, very pigmented, but it's not so overly pigmented that it's going to be hard to use or control. And for a buck, I mean, killer, killer dill. It's amazing. You get 9 grams or 0.31 ounces, so almost half an ounce. And then this is the shade Tawny Peach. This is the shade I'm wearing today. Um, almost all of them do have a s slight bit of luminosity to it. It's nothing like out of control, but they've got, I got three or four of these. They're beautiful. They're easy to blend on the cheeks. You don't end up looking like a clown. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. It's amazing. Dollar Tree, that's where I find mine. Okay, so moving on to eyes now. So, eyebrows. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know this, but the Maybelline Expert Wear Twin Eye and Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I love this stuff. This is my last backup, but you can buy these for $2.97 at Walmart and also on Amazon.com. Um, they're just so beautiful. They are waterproof. They're easy to blend out, and it gives you a very beautiful, natural-looking brow. Okay, but it's easy to use. I'm actually missing the end of my eyebrow because I got my eyebrow ring ripped out. And years ago and so I don't grow hair anymore you can see the scar okay but it glides over texture and hair just beautifully great great eyebrow pencil if you love a pencil this is the way to go it's just amazing love these it comes in five or six different shades but they are awesome you cannot recommend this enough okay for setting my eyebrows I've been really liking the NYX control freak eyebrow gel this is a clear gel Okay, and but it really does add bushiness and hairiness to my eyebrows. So I go in with the Maybelline pencil and then go through it with the NYX Control Freak. Beautiful brow. I think they look really nice. I think they look natural, but they still really frame the face. But I wouldn't be afraid of it um, running or sliding down my face even with the hot weather. It stays put all day long. Okay, so eyeshadows. Um, so these are five dollars okay so it's the wet and wild color icon little palettes okay so i've got four different ones here the one that i um, did wear today is the nude awakening um, these are great you do get quite a few shades you get 10 shades in here okay so this is what it looks like i use this burgundy in my outer corner a little bit into my crease i use the first transition shade into my transitioning area. Um, I did a little bit of this shimmer shade right here for kind of blending from the outer corner in a little bit and then the last shade I did use was this shade right here and that's on my inner corner. 
Um, very, very beautiful, very, very pigmented palette. I mean, just crazy pigmented, okay? Even though this shade looks really dark, it blended out beautifully into a very beautiful smoky burgundy. So I'm not the biggest um, neutral kind of eyeshadow palette person, but this is gorgeous. Um, I love all of them. So there's the rosé in the air. This is stunning. Once again, if you like warm tones, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, and then I have the Comfort Zone. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is a cult classic favorite of people that have loved um, Wet n Wild. So this is a duochrome. It's that beautiful duochrome that people absolutely love. Okay, very, very pigmented, very easy to blend out. I mean, the transitions, the mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are beautiful. I mean, they are just stunning, okay? And then the last one is the Not A Basic Peach. Once again, just out of this world, gorgeous. Okay, so as a little bit of pop the color with the blue. Such gorgeous palettes for five bucks. I yeah, they're awesome. You could get all four of them for 20 bucks. That's still really, really affordable, and you'd have all the colors that you would ever need to create endless eye looks. You can mix them. Um, you can go between different palettes, but yeah, did a beautiful eye look. Absolutely stunning. So, what I'm wearing as a base is the e.l.f. concealer, and then for the shimmers, okay, I don't know how I lived so long without this in my collection. It's the NYX Glitter Primer. This stuff is amazing. It makes any eyeshadow, any shimmer eyeshadow, just look more gorgeous. Plus, it also keeps it on your eye all day long. I'll even use this with a ColourPop Super Shock shadow or more of a creamy shadow. I will use this underneath it, and even though it's kind of more wet and almost more cream-like, that shadow, it just sticks to the NYX just beautifully. No creasing. I, you can get this for less than $4 on Amazon. It's crazy. But yeah, I use this every single day if I'm doing an eyeshadow look, this gets used. And you need the smallest amount. It's a huge tube. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Best glitter primer I've ever used. Hands down, straight up, ever. Love it. Okay, so moving on to mascara. This was a hard one because I have a lot of mascaras, but I had to really think what was my absolutely most favorite mascara that has never flaked or ran or like transferred up to my brow bone, anything like that. And the answer was actually pretty easy. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascaras. They have quite a few different kinds. I have the purple one, and then I also have the carbon black. Even though this is very black, okay, it is stunning. It lengthens the lashes, it adds volume. It's just a beautiful mascara. It's like five or six bucks. You can get them really, really cheap on Amazon. They have a burgundy one I wanna get for fall. Can you imagine this eyeshadow look with a burgundy mascara? Hands down, beautiful. But formula across whatever color you get is stunning. Great mascara, just really, really nice. I have some high-end mascaras and this is just as good for way, way, way fraction of the price, so. And then lips. I got some bullet lipsticks. I got liquid matte lipsticks. I also have lip glosses, so I'm trying to kind of cover everyone's bases here. So what I'm wearing right now, this is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss and Charmer. It's such a beautiful, um, neutral, glossy nude lip gloss. So beautiful, absolutely love this. They're Vivid Hot Lacquers. Are amazing and I think they're six or seven bucks always go to Walmart or Amazon that's where usually makeup's gonna be the cheapest but love this absolutely beautiful some other lip glosses that I really really love are the NYX butter glosses I haven't tried the intense kind yet but just the regular butter glosses they're beautiful I mean they're pigmented they smell good they're just really really beautiful they're really comfortable on the lips they're not gonna add any like added stickiness, you don't get the b-hole lip, um, just really really nice. I have another shade I couldn't find though, but I really do love these glosses. If you're a gloss girl, they're pigmented, but they're they're still so beautiful. They look really nice on the mouth, makes them look nice and plump and juicy. So if you love glosses, give the NYX Butter um, Gloss or the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, moving on to liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, okay? So, top two favorites, okay? 
the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. These are budge proof. Um, I can wear this for a 16 hour day and not have to touch up. They are that good. They, it comes in a huge array of shades. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the doe foot is stunning. Has a slight kind of almost like chemical vanilla scent. It's not bothersome at all, but really, really beautiful. Very, very pigmented. Um, it takes a minute or two for it to dry down because it will still feel kind of sticky if you press your lips together. Don't put your lips together until it's completely dry and it's going to stay budge proof. Doesn't get patchy. Even after eating spaghetti or something greasy, this will stay put. Something that's just as good um, that I absolutely love having in my collection is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lips, the um, Moan, what are they called? They're the new, they were the newer um, macaroons, the Less Macaroons collection. So amazing. I even think these are better than the chocolate ones that came out last year or whatever. The macaroon collection is stunning. I have a third shade I couldn't find, but I've got um, a bright, a dark, and then the other one I couldn't find is the caramel one, and it's a beautiful nude. These do dry down. They're very, very comfortable on the lips. Even with the darkest shade, I don't notice any kind of feathering. It doesn't smear. These are almost as budge-proof and long-lasting as the Maybelline. These are a little bit more comfortable, though, so I love them both. I, I One, the week that I got these, um, these ones, I wore... I wore them all week. For my five day work week, I wore the shades all week long. So beautiful doe foot, really, really nice and easy to get, really, really precise lines. Love the macaroon collection from the L'Oreal Infallible. Plus, I got mine on sale for $2.24, so that was even better. But these are great, cannot recommend them enough. And for some reason, on Ulta, everywhere they're like six or seven bucks they've brought them down from nine to like six or seven so if you've been wanting to try these they are amazing i do recommend them and they're even on sale right now okay so for bullet lipsticks okay so i have mattes and i also have like kind of like satins for you so best satin lipstick i've ever tried would have to be the revlon super lustrous love these they're beautiful I love the way they smell too. Um, beautiful, beautiful, um, just amazing. Comes in a whole bunch of different shades. This is the iconic black cherry, just the pu most beautiful, perfect, vampy um, autumn color. Absolutely love it. Very, very smooth, creamy, full coverage. Okay, and then this is Toast of New York. Let me swatch this one for you, but full color, just so nice. And really, really affordable. You can get these for five bucks at Walmart. So, killer deal. Really, really love these. And then for my matte bullet lipsticks, I couldn't go without these. These are stunning. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. These are awesome. So, these are iconic. I feel like a ton of people love them, but they are very, very pigmented. They are long lasting and they are very affordable. You can get these for two bucks. They have a ton of different shades. They do feel a little bit drier when they're going on, but they just kind of melt into the lips after a little bit. Is this Sandstorm? No, never nude. But yeah, they are just so beautiful. Just out of this world. Um, oh, and this is one of the favorite. This is Cherry Bomb. Once again, this is the perfect vampy fall shade. So for two bucks you can pick up a absolutely stunning, long-lasting, cruelty-free um, matte lipstick that isn't a liquid because there's lots of people out there that don't like them so I definitely do recommend these. They're awesome. It's the Mega Last um, lipsticks. They are awesome. Really, really love these. They're great. So those are my top picks for back to school makeup. Whether you are a poor college student, a parent that has had to spend all their money getting their kids back to school, or if you are just a teacher that is on a tight budget but you want to pick up a few new makeup items, these are my picks. They are absolutely stunning. They are tried and true. They have been tested, some of them for years, and they are just out of this world. Cannot recommend them enough. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this different 
little type of a Monday must-have. These are definitely a must-have any day of the week and especially for back to school. I love this look that I created. I think it's beautiful, it's neutral, a little bit smoky, a little bit vampy, but absolutely love it. And it's using my most favorite products that really are a must-have for I think anyone's collection but there you go if you did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share this video I know a lot of people are doing back to school I want to do a little bit different I wanted to already come on screen with a full face on and showing you what it actually is gonna look like you guys have seen me apply makeup over and over again you've seen me use most of these products over and over again so I wanted to show you what it actually looks like all put together beautiful stunning absolutely love it um, Leave a comment down below, what is your pick for back to school makeup? What is like something you ride or die, you cannot live without, whether or not you're going back to school? Let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me here on my other social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all a budget glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start auto-playing or you're always welcome to click on one of the ones that should be popping up around me. So I'll see you here in just a sec.